Are your kids struggling with math, specifically with geometry? Let's handle how to find the area of a triangle right now. Area is how much two-dimensional space something takes up. And the area of a triangle takes half the area of a square or rectangle. So the area of a square, for example, if I wanted to find the area of this shape here, the area is base times height. But if I only want this triangle here, I'm going to take half the base times the height. So I only need half of that area, okay? And if it's not a square, but it's a rectangle, we actually do the same thing. Here, take a look at the example below. If we were to count the squares, if I were to extend this here, you could count how many squares the area is. For the entire thing, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. But if I were to count up the shaded area here, I would have a whole 1, 2, 3, 4, right? And then this is half of 1 that matches that one, so that's 5, here's another half, there's 6, 7, and 8. So the whole square was 16, but just the gray part was only 8. So the area of a triangle is half the area of the quadrilateral, uh, half the area of the square or the rectangle. So the base here, we can count 1, 2, 3, 4 squares. The height is 1, 2, 3, 4. The area is equal to 1 half the base times the height. And so if we were to write this out nice and big, the area is 1 half, the base is 4, the height is 4. Okay, 4 times 4 is 16, divided by 2 is 8. Okay, and that is my, eight, uh, my area. This is 8 square units, whatever they happen to be. So it's important to know what the height is. The height is the perpendicular distance, so a line drawn straight up from the base. Okay. And so notice in our examples here, we are using the height from this part of the base up to the top, up to the top vertex here. Or sometimes it's drawn from here straight up to the top. So sometimes it's along the side, sometimes it's in the middle of the triangle. The important part is, is it always goes straight up perpendicular to the base. Perpendicular just means straight up, okay? And well, technically it means it's a right angle. Okay, so you see we have a right angle or square angle in here. It goes straight up to the highest point of the triangle. That's probably the trickiest part. Before we do our next example, I hear from a lot of parents whose kids are frustrated with learning math in school. So if you can relate, I've got something that I think can help. I'd like to invite you and your kids to join me for my free online class about learning math the easy way. To register at no charge, simply click the link below in the description and the comments or go to getmath.net slash learn. Okay, let's continue. So let's find the area of this triangle, it's one half times the base times the height. Okay, and the base is 10 inches. The height is not 15 because that doesn't come straight up from the base. The height is 12 inches. Okay, so we write a 12 here. Okay, so area is 10 times 12 is 120 over, there's our 2 here, and this is square inches or inches squared. 2 into 12 is 6, so my answer is 60 square inches. And that's the area of my triangle. Let's take a look at another example. This one's in centimeters. So my area is going to be the same formula, 1 half the base times the height. Area is one half, the base is seven, and the height is four because it comes straight up from the bottom up to the highest point, four centimeters, okay? I can simplify this before multiplying it out. I can say four over two actually becomes a two here, there's a one. And so seven times two is 14, and the units are centimeters squared. Let's find the area of this triangle. My formula is 1 half times the base times the height, okay? And that's going to be 1 half. The base in this case is 3.1 miles, mi is miles. The height, which one of these is the height? 
It's gonna be the one that goes straight up, and in this case, it goes along the side of the triangle, which is 1.1 miles, okay? And then you can use your calculator if you'd like. So I have one half is 0.5 times 3.1 times 1.1. So I get a 1.705. So my area is 1.705 and it's square miles. What about a triangle like this? If this is two centimeters, and I tell you that the height from here to here is five centimeters, and this is nine centimeters, can you tell me how to do this one? All right, let's do it together. Area is one half the base times the height, okay? How much is the base? Now you might be tempted to say it's from here to here, but it's not. It's just the base of the triangle. So we're just looking for this number here. And for us, that's gonna be two centimeters. So the area is one half times two centimeters. The height, okay. So this may seem a little strange because this point isn't even on the triangle, but we still need the distance, perpendicular distance from here to the top. So you can either take it from here on over and come over this way. Okay, this is still five centimeters, or you can extend it over and go up five centimeters. So, either way, we need a perpendicular distance from the base to the highest point, even if you, the point that you start from is off the triangle. So, this is five centimeters. Okay, and the twos are going to cancel. My area is five square centimeters. If you want your kids to learn math the easy way without the tedious frustrations that so many kids tend to face these days, then I'd like to invite you and your kids to join me for a free class about learning math the easy way. And you can register at no charge. Simply click on the link below or in the description or the comments, or you can go to getmath.net learn.